Thank you, Dr. S.J., for coming back and uh, doing this recording with us. Uh, I believe you uh, uh, would be explaining to us today on acne. Could you tell us what uh, acne is? Uh, thank you for having me again. Acne is a familial predisposition to form tiny white bumps, also called comedones, or larger red bumps, or very large nodules underneath the skin. Most people with acne are teenagers or young adults, but the condition can persist. Acne usually affects the face, chest, and upper back. Untreated acne can cause discoloration of the skin and even scarring. And therefore, we should really try to treat any patient with visible acne. How can acne be controlled, doctor? Everyone is different, and there is no approach that always works. For mild cases, lifestyle modification might be all we need. This includes stress management, weight control, and uh, also avoidance of excessive dairy intake. If needed, the next step would include over-the-counter medications. For the morning regimen, I recommend using an exfoliating hydroxy acid followed by a topical antibiotic. So step one is always an exfoliating cleanser. And here we have two main options, glycolic acid or salicylic acid. Bioglycolic facial cleanser from Jean Marini is a great product for starters. It has 12% glycolic acid. You apply one pump with dry hands and rinse off with warm water. While foaming glycolic wash from Neostrutter is more a product for the experienced glycolic acid user who is ready to kick results up a notch. And the foaming glycolic wash is stronger. It uh, has 18% glycolic acid instead of just 12%. Alternatively, uh, we can try salicylic acid products. If you like scrubs, you can go for a 0.5% salicylic acid product, deep pore cleansing scrub from Avon. Uh, you can also try 2% salicylic acid products. I recommend frequently either Effaclar medicated gel cleanser from La Roche-Posay or purifying foaming wash from Skin Medicare. This is for someone who really want to indulge. It is also my recommendation for more mature skin. These were the cleansers. Step two in the morning is the topical antibiotic. The classic is benzyl peroxide. There are lots of products available over the counter. You cannot go wrong with the line from Jan Marini. Start with 2.5 or 5% and if needed, bump it up to 10%. Alternatively, you can try Lytic plus TX, this is from Epions and a combination of azelaic acid and salicylic acid. Only if these two products do not give you results, I would suggest to try sulfur. Sulfur has an unusual smell. Many patients find it quite all right, but some do not like it. For that reason, topical sulfur is never my first choice. But if the other two products do not give you good results, I would suggest to try Special Cleansing Lotion C from Mario Badescu. Since the hydroxy acids can sensitize our skin to the sun, we always need a sunscreen as the last step in the morning. And if your skin is less oily, I recommend a lotion something like Anthelios 60 Cooling Water Lotion from La Roche-Posay. 
Uh, alternatively, you could try LTRMD with an SPF of 46. Uh, my favorite sunscreen is Total Defense Plus Repair Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with an SPF of 34. It's for all skin types. And almost all acne patients are very happy with this. It is my recommendation also for patients with more mature skin. It rejuvenates. It's a rejuvenating screen um, that prevents the appearance of premature aging from chronic exposure to infrared rays. So this sunscreen provides comprehensive protection beyond UVA and UVB, beyond the broad spectrum. This was the morning regimen. Let's briefly discuss uh, the night regimen. Step one is again a cleanser. You can use any product we just discussed for the morning. Step two is optional. Step two is a moisturizer. Most patients with oily skin types or with acne will not need a moisturizer. However, sometimes patients say that uh, other topical products are too irritating or drying. And some patients with a mixed type skin will also need a moisturizer. I recommend Hydrant's Optimal Light Hydrating Cream from Oven. And uh, if you want to indulge, you could try Ultra Sheer Oil-Free Moisturizer from Skin Medicare. This is also for more mature skin types. The Ultra Sheer Moisturizer is an oil-free product with antioxidants and hyaluronic acid to hydrate oil-prone and sensitive skin types. Step three at night should be a topical retinoid. The strong topical retinoids are all prescription products. So uh, when we discuss over-the-counter products, we are stuck with retinol, which is usually marketed for rejuvenation purposes but can work very nicely for acne too. I frequently recommend Replenix All Trans Retinol Smoothing Serum 10X. The 5X is not strong enough for most patients. Alternatively, you can try Nouvelle Retinol Correction Cream from Neocutis. It is very important to realize that if you stop your topical retinoid, your acne will likely reappear within a month or two, or the latest three. So we should continue with a topical retinoid for years, because acne cannot be cured, we can just suppress it, as soon as we have found a topical retinoid that we really like. If after following this regimen for one month, you find you need further help, please consult a dermatologist. Thank you, Dr. Esther. That was very informative indeed. Thank you very much.